ATCC Season 4. This time taking place in Tokyo on the East Outer Loop. First time that the uh, drivers have been to Tokyo, I think in the uh, four seasons that DTCC have been running. And an added bonus uh, for this round is that the Group 4 race, so the first race of the, uh, of the two tonight, is taking place in the wet. So new adventures for all the drivers tonight. Um, so we're just looking at the grid for the first uh, Group 4 15 minute sprint race. And I will pause this as I can, as we're commentating on a race that took place last week. Uh, so we'll run through the grid. Um, as per usual in the uh, this uh, season of DTCC, the uh, top three from qualifying all receive bonus points, so from four down to two for first, second, and third. Um, but they have to then go to the back of the grid. So um, Mike Ross was quickest in qualifying um, for the first time this year in his Cayman, so he starts ninth. Uh, Chris Lewis was uh, Chris Pengelly, sorry, was uh, second quickest in his Peugeot, so he starts eighth, and then Chris Lewis was um, third quickest, so he starts in his Aston in seventh. And then we've got new boy for this year who. Uh, who was, uh, was a regular for the first three seasons, but is now host and commentator. Um, so Matt Sykes is will be starting from pole. He was fourth quickest in qualifying. And uh, actually, interestingly, Matt uh, was on for getting third and elected to bought his last lap in qualifying to make sure he stayed fourth. So he starts from pole. Uh, and then we've got Alex Pierce, uh, a, a good, uh, good second on the grid in his Peugeot, followed by Harry Blake in third in his M4. Dan Charters in his Aston in fourth, uh, Jevron who's back in uh, fifth, and then we've got Jimmy Cole in sixth. So a uh, interesting grid. Now, obviously, with it being wet, the usual um, requirement that you race on the different tyres that you qualified on. So the, the rules state that you either use super softs or mediums in qualifying, and then you have to race on the opposite set in the race with no tyre changes allowed, it being wet in both qualifying and the race has meant that they could uh, have completely free reign on tyres and um, quite predictably everyone qualified on wets and it means everyone can um, race on wets as well. So here we go then for the first wet race of DTCC, third race, uh, third round of the season, race five effectively, got rolling start and uh, with the very 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 long um, main straight I'm expecting this to be a slipstream in Nirvana so Matt Psycho on pole will lead the field away as we wait for the countdown for the for, to get underway so here we go so Matt takes him away leading from the, the front and we've got Alex in second Harry in third Dan in fourth Jeb in fifth Jimmy in sixth Chris Lewis in seventh and we got Chris Pengelly already on his tail. They move out from the uh, uh, the cover of the tunnel into the uh, into the rain. We've got Matt Sykes is already having to defend now quite heavily from Alex as we go to cut through the spray. Is Alex going to go round as we look at, take a look on the back as uh, they go deep into the first corner. Alex is out breaking himself. I think he's gone a bit wide, but he's gone round. So Alex goes round the uh, outside using the barrier as a bit of a, a slingshot. Uh, as we go around into, into uh, uh, turn number two, and he's still leading, but he was a little bit slow, so again, using the barrier. So we've got Matt Sykes, who's right behind him as they go into the uh, very quick series of sweeps. I think we'll go on board with Matt. and uh, So here we go, in car with Matt, as he's right behind Alex. And then we can look back at uh, Matt Sykes from uh, Alex's car, as Matt's all over the back of him. So we flick forward now. Alex has gone a little bit wide, and, it's, yeah, and there we go. So Matt Sykes has gone through into the lead, Alex went a little bit wide and he's into the lead. Now if we look back the field we've got, uh, we can, I think we'll rewind a few, go back a little bit here and look at the uh, the mid pack because it looks like there was some uh, good changes, some good racing going on so if we go back to the start again along this back to long, long main straight so you can see here they're just all their line trying to pick up the slipstream for each other so we've got Danny currently in fourth in the Aston and he's following uh, Harry in, in third Pick up a decent tow, and it's really a case of who's going to break the latest into this first corner when you've got the uh, it's this very, very wet track. You see, Danny's uh, he's already well ahead. Um, 
Here we got Jimmy there. Good. Jimmy goes on the inside to take four from uh, from Harry, and it looks like uh, yeah. And uh, Jeb wants to get in there as well. And we, then we've got uh, Harry who's in sixth, and then we've got Chris who's in seventh. I think Chris is all over the back of uh, Harry, and then we've got Chris Lewis right behind them, and a little bit further back is uh, Mike in the Cayman. So it looks like Chris is trying to go around the outside. Uh, Harry, is he going to make that? That's a very hard manoeuvre. And then you've got Chris Lewis, he's uh, right behind them, looking for a way through past Perriman. So, and then we've got, uh, looks like Jimmy's uh, Beamer getting a bit sideways as well. So look at there, we've got a whole gang of cars coming through the sweepers. And Chris is trying to go around the outside of... If we can watch, uh, take a look at uh, Chris, is he going to make it around the outside? I think he has. And he's got Chris Lewis to go through as well. So Jeff's gone down to eight. So as we come through into the... Uh, again, these are very, very serious, very, very high sweepers going on, but very easy to lose some time against these barriers. So we've got Harry's in fifth. It's going to be fast and furious this race. We've got um, Chris now in sixth. If we come into the first real heavy braking zone of the track around this left hander, then you've got a, uh, a short straight into the uh, into the hairpin, which is heavy braking. So as we watch Dan going in, and we got Jimmy. Let's change the camera. Uh, it's a better one. So we come into the um, first hairpin hip, um, for the first time. You've got Jimmy and uh, Harry are side by side. They touch. It looks like he was trying to get down the inside. Yeah, Chris is trying to get down the side, and both Chris's have gone through. So that little barge in the match between the BMWs, and we've got Chris and, and yeah, I think Jimmy, I think, are side by side as well. Oh, it might be Blake. It's hard to tell between two BMWs. So as they come onto the, the main street for the first time. So we've got Matt Sykes, who's got a bit of a lead now. He's got, got clear of Alex. Some of them, they come across the line for the first time. So Matt Sykes, is, it looks like he's clear. He's using that pole position to good effect. Then you've got Alex in second. Danny in third, and then here we go. So we've got Chris Lewis, who's got Jimmy Coleman right behind him. So let's go in car with Jimmy. Here we go. So we've got to look behind us. So we, yeah, we've got... We've got, let's get rid of those names there. We've got uh, Chris Penge right behind us. Right in the toe as we go uh, watch it into the first corner. So let's come outside the car and see what's going to go on. So go into the um, first corner. We've got Jimmy's gone through in the inside. Is he going to understand what he has? And I think Chris is going to duck aside him. Yeah, he has. Look at this. is a great pair of balls. We've got, so we've got two abreast from from fourth down to eighth. All sideways going into the and Oh, a bit of a slight there from Jimmy. He's trying to get power on his rear-wheel drive Beamer. It's all the while, Alex is up front, so this is great. You guys can keep squabbling. And think Chris McKelly is now up to fifth. So we've got Matt Sykes out in front. Um, we've got Chris, uh, who's now in fifth. So Chris is making his way up through the field. And we look at Jimmy. He's been tailed tail very closely by uh, his beat. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, so look at these two. Still going at it. Um, this time we've got Harry who's going into the wall a little bit. Um, that's going to allow Mike, I think, to, to catch up. We go back on the, let's go back on the car now and see what's going on here. Up front. So this is the view from Chris Bengali. Here we go. So a little bit of nudge there. He's giving Chris Lewis a little bit of nudge, but he's going to try to go around the outside. He's got Dan just in front of him. So he's got Chris and Chris Lewis. Look at that. <laughs> Sideways, but it looks like Chris has gone through. Was there a little bit of a nudge there? Let's watch that. Let's go out of car and see that again. So was there a little bit of a nudge between the two of them? Well, I think Chris might have been losing it on his own the corner. We've got this battling before. Here we go. So we'll see it from here. So Chris goes very deep into a corner and oh, just slides wide but catches it beautifully. So a great catch from him. And then we've got the, the battling BMWs with the, the, the Porsche in, uh, in the mix as well. And it's, it's so hard to keep up. So look at this. We've got, again, four or five abreast going into the hairpin for the uh, second time. Look at this, here we go. So what's gonna happen here? We've got Harry, uh, Jimmy, they're all in the mix, Jeff. So we got, Harry goes a little bit wide. The, the, uh, <laughs> Jimmy gets on the inside, then Jeff gets past all, both of them. And then we got power over Steve and Jeff's gone a little bit wide. So look at this, this is crazy racing at the back. So battle for fifth here. We've got Chris, uh, Chris has escaped a bit. Look at that, he's gone. So let's have a look up front then. So Matt is now at the end of lap two. He's got quite a healthy uh, advantage. We'll get the times up here. I don't know why that is. Uh, we should be getting the times, but we're not getting the, the distances. So let's have a quick look at the gaps. Uh, three, three point seven seconds now. We've got Matt is up. So.
decent lead now. We look back, so Chris, P uh, Chris Pierce is, um, Chris Pierce, Alex Pierce is still in second, but he's been chased down a bit by Dan. And then we've got Chris in a little bit of a gap, and then we look at this. So we've got a slipstreaming gaggle between basically half the field. As they all come into the uh, first corner alongside each other, who's going to win first into that breaking zone as they go a bit wide. Lovely slide from Harry, and they've all gone wide. It looks like Jimmy's is emerged out of that <laughs> in front, and then we've got the uh, Mike's trying to go down the inside, and Chris Lewis giving them a bit of a nudge as he goes through. And then we've got Jeff um, uh, bringing up the rear, but uh, this is a crazy battle here in fifth. These guys are absolutely on it in the rain in Tokyo. So, and we've got purples everywhere, as you expect, really, as it's starting to get grips. So we've got Jimmy, who's uh, having a cracking race uh, in front of his team, alleged teammate anyway, uh, Harry, but they're both nudging the wall, which is slowing them down. Uh, if we look behind, so Mike's made his way up to seventh, and Chris is uh, fishtailing everywhere in, uh, in eighth, and you've got Jebby right behind him in ninth. So is he gonna, I think he's going to have a move into the uh, one of the... Uh, nice move down the inside there. So we go back up, we've got the... Uh, the, the crazy battle for fifth is still going so it looks like Mike has now made his way up to fifth so that, that's been a great couple of uh, uh, corners there for Mike he's up to fifth now in that very very quick game and he put it on pole by a mile so uh, um, and the BMWs are still uh, are still chasing each other so some of those we come into the hairpin again for the third time I think it'll be a bit more sensible this time we're going to be even more lunges so watching Jimmy and we've got Mike and uh, it looks like the uh, looks like uh, um, Chris has got past Alex and Dan so we'll rewind that let's just see if anything occurs here so they're keeping very neat and tidy around there that's very well behaved boys <laughs> that was much better than the first uh, right so let's rewind and see what happens so here we go watching Chris Dan and Alex so we've got Dan who's got Chris right behind him Sweet, but you see they're getting the slide on. It's uh, uh, trying to avoid the walls is crucial right here. You see there, so it looks like Dan has just touched the wall. Uh, it looks like Chris has just driven around the outside of him. So pretty easy pass there for uh, for Chris. Let's see what happened uh, with Alex. These two are teammates, obviously. So Alex is probably not making it that uh, that difficult. Yeah, he just goes a little bit wide, loses momentum, easily done. And I think Chris is going to get him down the inside. It's the hairpin. Looks like he will. Yeah, break him's teammate. I don't think his teammate's going to. Yeah, they pass straight past. Had the momentum, and into second he goes. So Chris is now free to chase down Matt in the lead. Matt's uh, well in the lead at the moment. I think he's about six seconds up. Going purple, but uh, that, that car isn't the quickest, and he's not had much experience. He's, I think he's only done about five or six laps of the race in this car. Um, so he, he's doing 24s, and I think Chris is going to be a lot, lot quicker when he gets going. So if we then go back, so anything, so here we go. So the battle for fifth. Mike's now got pulled a little bit of lead, but then still got the BMW. He's still scrapping over sixth now. We go head down into the, uh, the relative calm of the tunnel. So Jimmy's right behind his teammate now, so let's, let's go on board. Here we go, right on board, he's getting a good slip screen for his teammate. Get a little bit of um, bump draft in there, so he's giving him a little bit of a nudge, which is, uh, helps the pair of them out, because it speeds up uh, Jimmy in front. So is Harry going to have a go on the outside the, into the turn one? Picking up a very good slip screen, he's maxed out on the rev limiter. Is he going to have a go as they go into the uh, first corner? There he goes, I think he's got down the inside, and yeah, there he is through. Give it a little bit of a nudge, oh, look at the sideways motion there from... Uh, Harry holds it well though. Nice manoeuvre there, Harry. Down the inside, a little bit of a nudge and a bit of oversteer to, to top it all off. So you can't complain there. But these two look like they're going to be fighting for the rest of the uh, rest of the evening. Um, Jeff's a little bit uh, a little bit away now. Let's just see if we can get those times up. So we go to the top of the field again now. We've got Mad Psycho, he's uh, he's lapping pretty consistently, but he's like, look how consistent that is. He's done two laps of 27, uh, 24.774, 27, 24.777, so we're in three thousands, which is 
not bad considering how wet it is but if we look at Chris Chris has done a 24-4 so he is uh, he was about three four tenths quicker that lap but I think that was probably the lap he passed uh, Alex was being held up so I would imagine he's going to start cutting into Matt's lead now quite quickly um, then we got Alex so we got battle now for third uh, so it looks like Dan and Mike have both latched onto the back of Alex um, so this is now a three-way battle for the final podium position. So let's see what happens here between these three. Let's try to get a better camera angle as they go in. Dan's uh, gone for the uh, third place, but he's overshot it. And Mike looks like he's going to... That's a rubbish camera angle. Let's try and get his side. So, yeah, Dan looks like he went for the uh, inside, but overshot it. But uh, he's actually come out really quickly. So he's got a great run coming out. So actually running wide wasn't a bad idea. Um, so he's now into third. And we've got Alex now down to fourth, but Alex is going to be in the toe. Mike's lost out a little bit there. So if we uh, get on board with him, let's get on board with uh, Alex to see what's... Uh, the trouble is that Peugeot, it's, it's, it's good, good on top um, acceleration, but it maxes out pretty early. His top speed is not great, so you can see he's on the inner toe on the rev limiter, but he can't do much about it. He's flat out, and he's got no gear in left. We have a look behind us, so Mike's not really behind us, so... This is a battle into the braking zone of who is going to brake last. And there we can see Chris, uh, so he's, he's, got, he's got a very good purple. So Danny's in, defending the inside. He's going to try and do his uh, turn one manoeuvre and first lap. Go around the outside, no he doesn't. Dan's defending the inside. This is good stuff from the pair of them, no contact. It's this very tricky turn too, very hard to get. Alex has gone wide and that's going to rob him of momentum. So here we go, we can see Mike is now all over us. So here comes Mike. We're going car with Mike. And he's going to have a run down the inside. I think he's got him. Yeah, he's got it. Looks like he's got him. Let's up by side. If we go outside now, I think, yeah, I think Mike has got it. So Mike is now up to fourth. So from the back of the grid, this is a, a cracking recovery drive for Mike. And Alex has gone wide. He's, uh, he's repeatedly going wide there. He, he, that Peugeot, I say, is, is great, but uh, he does tend to understeer a bit. But it in the wet. So he's now under pressure from Blake who seems to have uh, shaken off the uh, the mad trio of uh, Chris Lewis who's now got ahead of Jimmy in the uh, um, showboat in BMW oversteer and he got Jeb who's a little bit behind. So let's have a look at what's going on the front. So yeah, as we thought, Matt is still uh, he's still lapping super consistently. Look at that. He's, his three laps are all within two hundredths of each other. Um, but he's being reeled in by Chris pretty quickly. You see, uh, Chris is a 23. So Chris is uh, over a second of that faster. The question is, can Matt hang on to this lead with Chris bearing down them? There's two more laps to go. So in the SCT livered uh, Audi, can he hang on to, uh, um, to that dwindling lead? I think he's probably got enough, but uh, let's see what happens over the next couple of, uh, couple of laps. Um, so you got Mike there, he's just uh, he's put a, a 25.5 in, and I think he's on a personal best here as well. So he's up to third. So, uh, um, let's see, did we miss that? Uh, no, we didn't. No, he's, Mike's doing a great job there, going up to third now, and arguably the fastest car in the wet. So, uh, so he, he was on pole by a long way, so it'd be interesting to see if he can uh, start catching the, the two in front. So we've got uh, Chris has just done a 23. Five, and Matt's done a 25, so his slowest lap of the uh, so far. So Chris has taken a second and a half out of him, so this is going to be interesting to see if he can catch up. So if we then look a bit down, further down the field, so we've got Dan and Harry now are in fourth and fifth. Alex has dropped down to sixth. He's right behind Harry, so let's have a watch of this. Is he going to make a move into the first corner? We uh, look through the spray. He's going to do his uh, demon. He goes down the inside. Slings it down the inside, but that's going to run wide, surely. Yeah, he keeps it pretty neat, though. Just taps the uh, wall on the way out, and Harry goes down the back on down the inside. So, so this is a cracking racing going on down the field here. So you can see Harry's getting it properly sideways, but Alex gets a good, uh, good run out, and Harry just taps the, the, uh, the wall. So I think Alex might have a run here as they go around into the... He's on the outside, but yeah, good move. He's gone around the, around the outside. Can he keep it straight, though? This one, this... Um, Left hand is relatively easy, but then it sets up a, a, tri a slightly trickier right that you want to stay on the right hand side. Things you've got this really uh, uh, sort of pivotal left right chicane, which is easy to go wide, do that exactly, hit the, hit the wall. And you've got Chris Lewis there, he's catching these two very quickly, um, very quickly. So here we go. So watching uh, Harry, he's got Chris down the inside of him. It looks like Chris is going to try to take Alex as well. 
Uh, side by side, so good meet there by uh, Chris. He's through past Harry. So Harry's down to uh, seven. So seesawing around. This is a uh, cracking racing from these two. We'll quickly leave this to see what's going on up front. Uh, so there's uh, Matt and Chris is uh, definitely catching him. But is it enough? Matt as he goes into the uh, last hairpin, which is uh, very hard to get your braking point right. Very steady on the power as he come out. We got Chris there. He's definitely catching. You can see him now. You can see that gap is probably not much more than a second and a half. Chris is slightly slower down on his fastest. You see Matt. He can clearly see now. We go on board with. Uh, there you go, you can see Chris looming, the sun loom large, so he's catching him. Catching him quite quickly. We go through the tunnel to complete the uh, sixth lap onto their final lap. So Matt is uh, definitely slowing down, he's done 25.6, maybe his tyres are starting to go, yeah, you can see their fronts are starting to go. Chris is still a second half quicker. So, let's see where else is going. Mike is now in a bit of a lonely third, but uh, he's done a 23.5 as well, so he's bang on the pace. He's uh, yeah, he's only a couple of hundreds on Chris's fastest lap. Then you've got Dan, who's in fourth. And we then got these two side by side again. So into the tunnel and out again into the rain. We've got Chris and Alex side by side. They go into the rain, hurtling down the straight at flat out 160 mile an hour. Who's going to break last? Is Alex going to get in the toe? Another go as they come. Uh, he's uh, He seems to be a bit of a demon going into the first corner. So some of these things he's going to try the outside this time. So Chris protects the inside. So they go around uh, side by side. It's come out. That's a bad shot as we go and see the overhead view. So Chris keeps the uh, keeps the um, fifth place for the time being. But I think we have to go up the front and see what's going on in the front. So that you've got Matt. He's being chased down by Chris. I think he's got enough of a lead there. Um, I don't think Chris is going to catch that up. Let's see. Let's follow this last lap round. Just got to keep it neat and tidy. Chris is coming. You can see he's coming. Matt's going a bit wide. Oh, he's just digged the barrier. I think that could be enough to give you. You can see that. Look at the, uh, the speed that Chris carries. Uh, catches up. So Chris is now really catching him up. Here we go. So we've got Mike catching the pair of them. But I don't think he's been too far away. So into the uh, last couple of corners. We've got Chris. He's right on the tail of Matt. Is this going to be a, a last gasp win for Chris? Can he pull it off into the hairpin? So, so they go through another little tap from the on the wall from Matt. So he's, I think his fronts are starting to go a bit. Um, but they're no worse than Chris's. So here we go, into the last hairpin. Matt's defended down the inside. Chris is going to take a run down the outside. Do you reckon he, is he going to try and go around the long way round? Is Matt going to overshoot? No, Matt keeps the uh, keeps it neat and tidy. Chris is going to try and do the, the uh, up and under. He's going to try and get inside of him. But uh, no, it looks like Matt's still holding it. But here we go. So this is it. This is it. Down the back straight, the main straight for the last time. Chris is right, going to be right in the toe to Matt. It's a long, long run down to the uh, finish line. So Chris is now in the toe. He's trying to pull out Matt's cover. Him off Masco weaving a little bit. Oh, it's a bit. They're both weaving. Can Chris break the toe as they come across the lines? Is making a hold here? Here we go. It's 100 yards to the Chris is alongside each other. And Chris is Chris is taking it. Chris on the line takes the win from Matt by hundreds of seconds. What an amazing finish to that race. We got Mike who finishes third. And I think we got Dan who's going to finish a great fourth. Um, that's uh, I think his best finish of the year. So, and then Chris is coming up uh, to, to claim fifth. That's a good result. And Alex comes in sixth. Uh, and then Jimmy's going to win the battle of the BMW. So uh, that was a cracking race from uh, from Jimmy. They've got Jimmy coming home seventh, and and Harry to finish eighth. And Harry's actually pulled over. Interesting. So Jeff finishes. He's out of fuel. Wow. I've never seen that before. The BMW's out of fuel. It looks like uh, Jimmy's almost out of fuel as well. Crazy. I've never seen that before. So, what an amazing race that was. So, Chris wins uh, wins the uh, race from Matt Psycho. And we get ready now for the feature race, the 25 minutes. So, that was, I think that's the closest uh, finish we've ever had in DTCC. So, Chris came back, came from one and a half seconds behind probably in the final lap. Um... I think a couple of mistakes there from Matt, just minor mistakes, but they were just enough to uh, um, to lose the momentum. And Chris comes and takes the uh, takes the win. So a cracking race there, and a, a good third from Mike, a good podium. Um, and then we had Dan. Uh, I think I guess his best result in four. So uh, what a fantastic Group Four race we had. So it's uh, get ready now for the longer 25 
uh, minute group three race um, and this one is a reverse grid it's a rolling start again um, so it's a reverse grid from the group four and in this one they have to have uh, two different compounds of tyre to be used so if we just pause it so we can go to the grid and this will be effectively the reverse of the finishing order so I'll just take a swig of coke um, so great win from Chris he's obviously now last on the grid for the uh, reverse uh, reverse roll and start for the feature race got Matt's second so Matt's first time in his uh, Audi um, I think he'd be a bit a bit uh, uh, annoyed with himself uh, a couple of mistakes there but uh, nevertheless I, th I don't think he expected to be that high up in his uh, sort of cameo appearance so I think I think he's pleased with second uh, Mike, Mike uh, from the back that was a great co uh, comeback I think he got fastest lap as well um, so uh, yeah good third from Mike to his championship knowing that it's very tight in the midfield for the championship going into the uh, into round the start of the uh, fifth race effectively from round three so race one of round three um, we had Chris on 99 points a bit of a gap to Chris Lewis Chris Pengelly on 99 followed by Chris Lewis on 85 um, and Harry on 75 then you got Harry Mike and Alex 75 63 61 respectively so that will do Mike's uh, Mike's chances knowing the good particularly as um, as Harry finished last I've been running out of fuel in that race so uh, so Dan a great fourth place there um, that'll jump him up uh, a spot or two and then Chris Lewis who's uh, he sec was second in the championship so uh, he'll lose a bit of ground there to um, to Chris Pengelly uh, Alex he uh, was at a good sixth um, uh, was second for a long time and then Jimmy uh, finished in seventh and Jev taking um, eighth on the line because uh, Harry ran out of fuel. So, getting ready now for the feature race. Let's hopefully I'll, we'll get the gaps up on this one. I'm not sure why we weren't getting the time, the gaps, but uh, uh, let's try playing, pressing that one. Right, here we go. So, this is the 25 minute feature race. Away we go. So, again, another rolling start. We go up to the uh, front of the field. So we've got Harry in the BMW. He is first. Get rid of that. Right. So, waiting for the uh, clock to tick down. And away we go. So, dry race this time. And away we go. So, again, I expect this to be a super slip premium battle. Uh, Harry leads them away. They go streaming out into the night. So this is the nighttime race now. So this is going to look great. So here, you can already see the slipstreaming going on. We've got, uh, and we've already got. It looks like Alex and uh, Chris, and we've got Bell for the lead there. So it looks like Jimmy's gone down the inside of uh, uh, um, Harry's out front. Got good gap out front. But then we've got a slipstream battle as we come into second, third, and fourth. They come steaming into the first corner. And it's uh, looks like uh, everyone seems to be held in position there. So we've got uh, Jimmy's got up to third now. So he can fly around the uh, first couple of corners. It's very hard to uh, make this out when it's dark. But uh, we go on board with Jimmy. Jimmy's about to be passed by. Uh, let's have a look here. He's about to be passed by around the outside by Alex. He's trying to be a bit ambitious. He's made it around the outside. I don't think he has. Uh, let's go outside and let's go watch the front. So we got the first three very close together. So you've got Harry in the lead from Chris Lewis and then Jev right behind him. Jev looks like he's going to take a, uh, make a move for the uh, inside. Let's get rid of that. So we've got, I say, two compounds are required. So we've got Harry starting on the super softs. There we go. So let's get rid of that one. Stand the camera. That's better. So as we come around towards the uh, last few sweepers, and we see, oh, we had a crash there, who was that? That was, uh, I'm not sure who that was, who was that? I think that was Alex. Alex was T-boned off into the barrier, so here we go into the hairpin. Uh, it's hard to tell, uh, is there much going on here? No, I don't think there is, so we'll watch this battle for fourth. Uh, Mike's coming into fourth, he's got um, Matt Psycho who's come up from the back of the field and uh, got into fifth. So Matt's made a couple of great, uh, great moves there on the uh, open lap. But I think he's just led Mike through. So that has left him a bit, uh, a bit exposed to Chris. He lost some momentum there. So we've got uh, 
uh, crisscross in the Aston, who's right behind Jeb. He's given a bit of a, uh, a uh, bump draft. That always helps. Then you've got Mike, who's got Jimmy Cover right behind him. And then we've got the uh, the two bat the protagonists from round one are now side by side as well. So as I thought, this is the slipstream in uh, Bonanza. So you've got Chris, who's got Matt right behind him as they all go into the first corner. So let's have a look. See, you've got multiple people side by side here. So we've got Chris and. Jimmy is side by side. Is Chris going to have a go inside? Jeb, no, looks like Jeb's got it. We move back. So Mike is having to go down the inside of Jimmy. He's got it, but Mike's gone wide. Is Jimmy going to come on the inside? Yes, he does. So Mike goes wide. And you've got uh, Chris in the uh, Peugeot with Matt Psycho right on his tail. So we're looking for way past as well. So look at these two. This is some cracking racing going on here. So we've got fourth down to seventh all side by side. Matt's having a look on the outside of Chris. I don't think he's going to get around there. That's going to be difficult. So these two are just redoing their battle from, uh, from the first race and also pretty much uh, every season we've been running. Uh, Matt's trying out the Audi for the first time just to see what it's like, whereas the others are all running their usual cars. So if we go up a little bit, so you've got Jimmy who's uh, still defending from Mike. Up front there, so it's hard to tell where to look here. So let's think with the battle for fourth at the moment. Look at this. So we've got the fourth down to the eighth. Oh, like squabbling over the same piece of road. So you've got uh, Mike's up in fourth. So you've got so wow, look at this. So Jimmy's gone down to sixth, and Matt's just gone past Jimmy because Jimmy made a bit of a mistake. So Mike's now up into fourth, and then we've got the uh. The uh, boys go out. Jimmy's going to try and go inside, and Jimmy comes screaming across the front of everyone. <laughs> he went from seventh to fourth, and now uh, back to seventh again. And uh, most like has ducked inside Mike as well. So let's have, a, <laughs> let's have a replay of that. That was great. Let's get there into that. Let's, let's see if we can go back and catch that. No, we can't do replays in this one. So uh, so let's, let's do it the old fashioned way. So watching Mike there as he comes into the hairpin and Jimmy tries to go down the inside and then goes flashing across the uh, the inside and in the meantime Matt goes down the inside and has a bit of a contact with Chris so Matt gains two plus three places there um, and you've got now Mike who's right behind Matt this is the Sterling battle for 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th and in the meantime you've got some of those we've got in we've got look at this we're going to get three abreast as we come over the start line so you've got Chris being squeezed in the pit almost by Mike and you got Matt inside and I think we're going to get a three way fight so I'm about stuck into the uh, getting into the uh, slipstream that's excitement and now we've got three abreast look at this three abreast going into the first corner who is going to win out of this Look at this, you could not get any type of race in this. This is phenomenal. And you've got Jimmy in the back going, got you three take each other out. I'm just on the inside. So Matt's on the inside, Chris is gonna go around the outside, so and they managed to all get through as well. Mike touches the wall, so we've got Chris is now in up into fourth, Matt is uh, sort of hell station really in fifth, and Mike's down to sixth, and you've got Jimmy loitering as well, so this is phenomenal racing uh, between these two. So let's just quickly see what's going on at the front. So Harry is still in the lead, and he's getting a decent lead at that. This is uh, yeah, this is a, a, a good first stint from Harry. He's pulling away there. So we've got Jeb still in the second. Who's uh, so Jeb's on the uh, super softs as is Harry. I wouldn't, I'm not expecting too much um, tyre wear on this track. It's mainly straight, as you can see. There's lots of quick corners. But there's lots of straights. Um, I think Fuel's going to be the bigger player here. So let's just go back to this battle for fourth now. So Chris is trying to escape from Matt, but uh, being in the toe, it's very, very, very hard to shake people off. You know, you've got to be a good second, second half quicker to actually pull up the gap. Um, so you can see that Chris is. Uh, he's got Matt right behind. Oh, looks like we've got a battle going on here up front for, between uh, Chris and uh, Jeff for second. Let's just see what's going on. It looks like Matt's trying to get the inside of Chris as well. So there's some we watch of that one. <coughs> Excuse me. So into the hairpin. Chris has run a little bit wide there, that's why. And then they both have a little bit of contact as they come out. So is Chris going to get the run? Yes, yeah, so Chris has got the run coming out. But again, we've now got a massive slipstream in again. And if we go to the two in front as well, so look at these two. And they're, they're actually starting to catch Harry by the looks of it. So let's go on board with, with Chris Lewis. So sitting in the toe, flat out, nothing more left. Just sitting in the toe. Let's 
so we can see what we can do going into the first corner. We'll follow these guys for a bit. There's a train behind us, but we'll stay on board with these two. Is he going to do a desperate down on the inside and go for a move on the brakes? The brake is up to 100 meter board. No, he's going to have a go there. So uh, here we go. So we got a cracking battle again for between uh, Matt and uh, Chris at uh, fourth and fifth. Chris is holding Matt off despite uh, Matt being in the toe, so uh, these two, yeah, just tied together. This is, this is great stuff between those two. If we go back to Mike Venn, who's in uh, following up in sixth. And they've managed to drop the, uh, Jimmy a little bit, and then we've got Dan coming around in, in eighth, and then we've got Alex uh, coming up in the rear. So up front, we've got uh, Harry still just keeping the second and third arms length for these two having a cracking scrap. But what they're doing now is they're holding each other up. See, they're doing two, 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 two twos. And then we've got um, Chris Bengali. He's done a, 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 a two meter point eight. As is Matt. So these two are identical. So they're they're catching these guys up, and he can clearly see it now. Here we go. So we're going to have a four way scrap for second very, very soon. As these uh, as Matt and Chris uh, catch these two up, and you've got Mike not far behind as well. So here goes Chris, he's going to have a move into the inside of the hairpin, I think he's having a go. Let's have a look, he made it. Uh, he's run a bit wide though, so um, Chris comes back at him down the inside. So Chris did get uh, third just for a short period of time. But he's, uh, he's back and forth, but now he's right in the toe. So the usual dilemma of do you want to lead out the hairpin, so he pulls outside, he's going to go for an early move I think but no I think that the problem with the Peugeot is his top speed isn't that great so whilst he's in the toe he's right tucked up behind him whilst he's in the toe when he pops out the toe he runs out of gas I think he's going to get him this time though and he's got you can see there the three of these are towing each other along they're actually pulling away from that so Chris is looking like he's going to get a double toe so he's gone down the inside of the pair of them so Chris it looks like he won foul swoop has gone from fourth to second and he's clear he's down well before the uh, uh, first corner. So Chris moves up to second, and then Jeff and, uh, and Chris Lewis stay where they were. So brilliant uh, straight there for Chris. He's uh, jumped a pair of them, so he can now go after um, Harry in the lead. And he's done a 59 one to boot as well, so he's just got the fastest lap of the race. So I guess the question is, what can Matt Psycho do? He's still a little bit behind these, uh, these two on that uh, skirmish coming out of the hairpin. Um, it shows the, uh, the strength of being in the toe. And you got Mike who's uh, doing the high two at once. Um, Matt did a, a 20.5, so he's still second or so off uh, Chris Bengali's pace. But uh, if we look at the tyres, so Matt's on the soft. Oh, uh, and then we've got action up front. So Chris, Chris has gone around the outside of um, Jeff, but it looks like uh, Jeff's got. Chris made a mistake there, and Matt's gone past uh, Chris. So. Uh, but Matt went a bit wide as well there, he's slammed the barrier, so uh, it's not all over yet for uh, Matt and Chris. Um, and you've got Mike who's catching a pair of them, so uh, Matt's up to fourth. And then we've got um, uh, Jeb who's still in third, so he's having a good race in that Renault. And then Matt is in uh, fourth, but he's now going to have the problem with having Chris. That is a terrible camera shot. Um, Chris behind him down the straight. So we go on board with Chris. Here we go into the toe. The uh, pink Audi in front of him, and Harry's in the pits. Harry's gone to the pits, so the leader is into the pits. But he's now going to drop quite a long way down the field. We ride on board with with Har um, Chris. We can see now Matt is getting a very, very good toe. You can see he's now gone past uh, Chris. Oh, he's gone past Jeff. They are very, very good tow there for uh, we go on board. And we're going to look at from the uh, back of uh, Matt's car. So, um, Jeff's going to go around the outside, but the not get And he looks like he's on the steam wire, but he just holds it for Chris. So Matt's up to second now. Can he do anything about... Can he pull... Well, A, pull away from these guys, and B, do anything about Chris going to get up in front. So that may be second place settled, but it's a long way to go in this race yet. So if we come back out... We're looking at uh, Jeff trying to hang on to the back of Matt, trying to keep him the toe. And we've got Chris behind him. Mike Ross just lurking, 
Let's see what you can pick up in fifth. And they've got a bit of a gap now to uh, a little bit of a gap to Jimmy. And then we've got Harry's now. So Harry's come out in second, uh, in seventh. He's filled up. He's got fresh softs on. He's starting on super softs. He's not that far from the uh, Alex is starting on softs, and then Dan, who's on medium, so interesting choice there from Dan. So we look at the uh, front now. So we've got a little, um, little GG's. Oh, it's going to be wide again in the hairpin. He, does, he looks like it's a dibble over at line though to get uh, clip the second apex. So he's still lapping. Uh, he's done 58.9 now. So Chris is absolutely flying. And we've got Matt who's in second. He still hasn't shaken off those guys behind him though. So Matt's on the softs, as is Chris. And tyre wear looks pretty much identical. And then you've got behind him, we've got Jeff who's on the super softs. Uh, fuel's pretty similar. And then you've got behind them now is Chris Lewis. And his fuel is looking great. He's on the softs, his tyre wear is great. And he looks like he's lining up Jeff for a move. And Jimmy's gone into the pits now as well, so pretty much doing between 6 and 7 to 13 that race, so um, uh, 6 and 7 first in, and the opposite on the second stint. So here we go, is Chris going to have a dive down the inside of Jeremy, third into the first corner, no, he doesn't, so that, that red is very strong down the straight. Um, Jeff just nudges them all a little bit as he goes through turn 1, we've got through turn 2, nose to tail, I think we should get in car with Jeff, uh, with Chris, Iron up that uh, Renault. Side by side through the sweepers. We've got not far behind us. If we have a quick look behind us, there's the Porsche. She asked closing up on us, so can't relax at all. Matt's getting away a bit. You can see up front now, he's, I think he's broken the toe, so uh, that might get making Jeb, uh, make half a Jeb to hang on. Got to get rid of this uh, Aston. He just cannot shake him. You can see in our mirrors now. Mike is getting closer and closer and closer. That Porsche is quick. But we did a two minute one point three on the last lap, and you can see Mike is getting closer and closer and closer. We're coming to the hairpin, and we're starting to defend. You can see Chris. Chris has gone the inside. So great move down the inside. We're watching from the back, and Mike's going to have a down, move down the inside. Jeff as well. As it's going to resolve itself that they're side by side, the pair of them are watching for the back as they come through the kink. So Jeb is still managing to hold him to his position, but I think we're going to see some pit stops now as we come. Uh, um, yep, so Chris is in. Chris is in. So we stop. Off comes the soft song. Go to Supers, I would guess. Fill it up. Then you've got Matt's in. They're all coming in, as you would expect. Mike's in. Matt's in. Jeb's in. To Jeb, no, I can't. Who's going to come out? So Chris now takes the lead. Chris is staying out. Interesting. He's still got his super softs on. He's still got plenty of fuel. That Aston's good on fuel. To me, this is a wide open uh, throttle race. So Chris has come out. I think he took on a little bit more fuel than that. Maybe a touch. But yeah, you can see they're identical. So they're both now on super softs. And you got Harry's. Uh, Harry's back up to fourth now. So the early leader is now up to fourth. So can he do anything about the uh, three guys in front of him? I'm expecting Chris now to go quite long. Chris Lewis in the lead. Um, you got Mike who's uh, coming back to fifth. Jeff's uh, down to sixth. Uh, Jimmy's a little bit, bit way behind now. So Alex in eighth and Dan he's in the ninth and he's come out mediums again. So Dan's doing, no he's come out on softs. Okay, interesting from Dan. So back with the leader. So our new leader, Chris Lewis, was second in the championship. They're going into the f um, first round, uh, first race of the night. I think uh, I think he still will be second. Because Harry didn't have a particularly great race either. Um, but you watch out for Mike. Mike's having a, a, a good night uh, tonight. So there we have Chris uh, Penke, he's in second, did a uh, 2.17.4 on his uh, in-lap and pit stop. But Matt did a 2.17.2, so actually yeah, he took two tenths out of him, but I think Chris has got a 4-5 to five second lead, so I think he's probably safe. Um, then we got Harry, he's in uh, up to fourth now, he's done a 2.03.4, so showing a huge blinding pace. 
Um, Mike is, uh, I think Mike's quicker, so we'll see if Mike can catch that, uh, catch that gap. Um, and we've got Jev, who was uh, up on the podium for a little while. He used to do two at one sixes, which is competitive. We're looking at the front, front guys, so uh, two on three for Chris. Chris Pengelly is on a 58 9, um, so well ahead. Matt's uh, on a 2.1. He's, he's getting used to that for Audi, he can be a bit flighty. It's, uh, it can be a little bit oversteery going into corners, um, so um, he's a little bit off Chris's pace. Um, but still, he's yeah. He's, so the, the front three are actually quite spread out of the um, pace. You got Mike who's done a uh, two six for his last lap, which uh, could stop in it for uh, two uh, two minute point nine. So. I think the interesting thing now is what's Chris going to do? Where's he going to come out when he uh, makes his stop? He's still got a little bit of fuel left. He can go pretty deep into this, which means he's going to have a pretty short splash and dash. Stick the softs on, I would imagine. Um, and that'll be pretty good to the end. So uh, this is going to be tight. I think I think Chris uh, pengelly has got this one. I think he's assuming he's just making mistakes, which would be very unlike the championship leader. Um, knowing Chris, he's probably just trying to go faster and faster to get a faster lap, as you can see there. He's brushing the arm go. Um, Matt's chasing him down. So Matt's, uh, yeah, Matt's close as well. Um, Matt's not that far behind. Um, they're pretty even. You see that uh, over the course of the pit stops, there's two laps in, uh, in, in, Pit stop outlap. Matt is a 17.2 and a 205.5. And Chris did a 17.4 and a 205.3. So they are identical on time over those two laps. Absolutely identical. So, whilst Chris, I think he's got a bit of a lead now. It's probably about five seconds. It's not a. Uh, and and Chris, uh, right, so Chris Lewis in the pit. So this is going to be interesting. So our. Uh, New leader when uh, Harry went in, and then the uh, uh, Chris and Matt went in. He's out now, and Chris, so Chris Lewis has gone past. So where's Matt? This is the key thing. Uh, so there's Matt. Matt is going to go past. Here he goes. So Chris is just going, going out of speed, and then Matt goes into second. So Chris is now down to third, but he's got fresher tyres, and he's right in the toe. Watching the uh... oh, he's close right up on Matt as we go into. We've got colder tyres, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a close run thing for second, I think. Yeah, he's got the steering wheel being low. Those tyres are cold. Matt's going to be a run now. So, the question is, can he hang on to Matt? We go outside, and look at the uh, tyres. So. Matt's on super, so Matt's, Matt's on super soft. Chris has got less fuel, which is interesting. Obviously, he doesn't need as much fuel that out that Aston, so he's put fuel on fuel. So he's got less fuel, so it should be a little bit quicker, but he's on softs, Matt's on super softs. And I don't think tyre wear is going to be a particularly big uh, issue here, so uh, can you he, can he stick on the back of Matt and uh, put him under a bit of pressure? So we've got Harry now, and Harry's now getting under pressure from Mike. Here goes Mike. Oh, I can't see the quick rounds. Um, whoa, I might have gone down the inside. So I might have got him. I think, uh, yeah, I think Harry made a little bit of a mistake there. Might have brushed the wall. Um, but Mike's done the same as well. So Harry's coming back at him. So here we go. We're going to go into the hairpin. Is uh, Harry going to have a go? But Harry's brushed the wall as well. Coming into the hairpin. Who's going to break the latest? There we go. Oh. No, I don't think. Oh, Mike's going to run a bit lighter, but he's going to make the, the apex. I think he is. But yeah, I think uh, Harry should have a good, uh, good run out. So is he going to get a decent slipstream? That's the question now. We go down this very long straight, and we've got Jimmy, Jimmy and Jeff having a cracking battle here. So Jeff's gone down the inside, but he's run wide. Jimmy, I think he's going to get the undercut. They come out side by side. So battles all the way down. Yeah, we're. We're 20 minutes into this race and we're still having battles all the way down the fields. This is, uh, again, as we thought, it was a cracking race. So as we go down this big straight, we've got Jeremy who's got a BMW right behind him. Let's go on board with Jimmy. Here he goes. So he's right. Actually, let's go on the back so we can see here. This is Jimmy trying to pull out the toe right on the, on the back of uh, Harry's uh, tail. And he's going to have a go past. Let's 
go our sides, they're side by side now. Down this straight, who's going to break latest? As you can see, the straight just goes on and on and on. So Jeff's now pulled in behind uh, the BMW. Is he going to have a go down the inside? They come into the first corner. Jeff's going alongside. They swap places twice now. Jeff's down the inside. Cracking race in between these two. Look at that. Perfectly clean coming out as well. Oh, it's a pleasure to watch. Pleasure to watch these two race. No contact, just pure racing. Can now Jeb hang on to that, or is Jimmy going to come back to back at him? I think it'd be unlikely that Jeb's going to get away. Uh, if you look at the tyres, so Jeb's on softs, uh, Jimmy's on softs as well. Jeb's a uh, fresher though, but uh, it's more than that. It's more than those little bumps. They've both done it. <laughs> both playing bumper cars off the barriers. Let's see what's going on behind. So I don't want to leave these two. Though. These two are having a cracking race. Let's get on board again with uh, Jimmy. He tries to size up that Renault. Coming through the uh, various uh, sweepers here. Very easy to lose a little bit of timing. Just by making a little bit of contact. Oh, I'm still wise. The tires are starting to go a little bit. That's giving Jeb a little bit of breathing space, I think. That might be it. I think Jeb's fundamentally quicker. He's got more fuel, a lot more fuel on board, but uh, definitely, let's see if if he can't hang on to him down this main straight, I think that could be, uh, yeah, he's starting to understeer a bit on his tyre, starting to go off a little bit, they just lose a little bit of their edge. We look at Alex now, a few seconds behind these two, a little bit lonely, and Dan sitting at the time, so yeah, Alex obviously had a bad lap there, so a bit of an off. Dan's doing 205s and Alex is, should be able to do 204s so I think that's a bit lonely let's have a look up front so Chris still leading is the ultimate lap he's not, he's not massively but he's, can't be you know he's comfortable but he's not uh, he's not a mistake comfortable um, Matt's going quicker he's slightly getting the hang of that Audi now he's in the 59s now he's in the 59 eight. Um, Chris did a 59.7, so Matt is starting to get on the uh, on the pace of Chris. And then we got Chris Lewis, who's in third, so he'd be pleased with that. That's a good third place. Um, he's got a bit of a gap now to, to Mike in fourth, who's uh, we've still got Harry close enough to keep him interested. Um, shaking him off. Look at the tyres. So Mike's on super soft though, and pretty much even where not much in it. And you've got Jeb now who has uh, lost track a bit with uh, Jimmy. He shake, managed to shake him off a little bit. Alex uh, in 8th and Dan ninth. So he's taken the, to the penultimate right lap by, to really shake out. Um, so it's tense race as we thought it might be here. Um, so it's so close. Is there a sting in the tail? Is there any more action to go? We'll have a look see what's going on behind. I think this is probably the uh, battle. We've got Mike, who's a couple of seconds ahead of second and a half, maybe two seconds ahead of uh, of Chris. No, oh, sorry, but um, of Harry. Can Harry do anything on the last lap? I think it's unlikely. Uh, Mike's doing two and one two. Harry's just done his fastest lap, though, two one four. So. Yeah, they're pretty similar pace these two, so Mike can't uh, be too complacent. He's got a bit of a lead now, but can't be too complacent. Matt's uh, slowly getting the hang, he's done another 59. Chris Bengay's still uh, still well out, he's just done a 59 4, so he's got a bit of pace in hand. Um, Chris is a little low on fuel, he should be fine, but he's. Uh, he's yeah, he's. That Persia is obviously quite heavy on fuel. Now he's got a little bit more. Oh, uh, Chris Lewis, so look at that. He really gambled on his short fuel, and he's probably having to short shift a bit now. Because he's right on the flashing light. And we're going to see this again for the uh, second race in a row where uh, um, someone runs out of fuel coming over the line. Uh, so Mike is a little way behind him. He's probably a bit too far behind. He's not that far behind, so if Chris has any issues, then uh, we've got Harry as well. Um, Harry's on the on the red too, so again he's not too far ahead of Jeb, so as you know he's got down with those two now. So Jeb must have had a bit of a knock somewhere. Actually no, no, no. 
it's, there's always a bit of a gap. So anyways, we watch Chris now, coming into the, out the final hairpin, cracking race from Chris, came from the back, um, had the pace, got into the lead after three or four laps, and uh, didn't look back. Um, that's kept him honest, but uh, I think that's a reasonably comfortable win for him again. So brilliant first uh, uh, feature race win for Chris. Um, undefeated so far in the features, as the third in the row. And the first time he's actually won both races. Um, so great night for Chris. Matt comes across second. So that's a great uh, cameo appearance from, uh, from Matt. Finished second, his first time this year in the race. We've got Chris uh, Lewis finishes third. Mike comes across fourth. So third, fourth and fifth. And a, a great... Um, fifth from Harry as well, so third or fifth was pretty close. Um, and we're watching uh, Jev, who was up there for a long, long time. Um, so he missed out uh, in the final reckonings, but uh, he comes across sixth, so I think he'd be relatively pleased with that. Uh, then we've got Jimmy, who's now coming around in seventh, so he had a cracking battle with, uh, with pretty much everyone to start with. Um, so he's now coming around to finish uh, in seventh. Line. Here he comes. Uh, Alex actually wasn't that far behind him. So Alex finishes seven, eight, and we're just gonna watch Dan. I'll pause it before we get to the end so we can look at the results. So here comes Dan across the line now. It's a uh, very cool looking Aston. I'm just gonna pause that now. So a cracking race, feature race for round three of the DTCC. So we've got Chris Pengelly takes the win. Um, ended up 6.7 ahead of um, Matt. So uh, it was comfortable, but it was, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, yeah, he, he, he had a little bit of time in his pocket, but uh, a mistake and Matt could have been right with him. So uh, great, great win though for Chris. Matt, uh, I think he'll be pleased with second. Um, uh, first time in the Audi, um, so it can be quite skittish. Um, you look at the fastest lap. So Chris did the fastest lap, um, did a 58, well 59. Uh, Matt was only just over five tenths behind him, so actually had a purple middle sector. Um, so I think he'd be pleased with that. Um, a great third from Chris uh, Lewis that, that helps his championship. That should cement his second in the championship. Mike's had a good night, so a fourth uh, to go with his third in in uh, the sprint race. So uh, um, he wasn't that far behind Chris in the end, only four seconds behind, um, and did a 20.9 as well. So uh, he actually got a third fastest lap there. So it was a, a good result for Mike. Um, Harry finishes fifth. Um, I think that's going to be interesting to see who comes out between Mike and Harry for um, third in the championship now. That's, that's really close because they were only they were 12 points apart. Um, but uh, Mike's had a good night. So. Uh, um, a good good fifth from Harry, and then um, sixth was Jev, getting his uh, grips to the, with the Renault. Uh, seventh was Jimmy. So those guys all all having cracking battles for the first couple of laps. Um, uh, so seventh for Jimmy, um, eighth for Alex. Um, started well. Um, uh, I think that that car's going to need uh, some extensive panel beating. Um, it's all right. It will buff off. Uh, and then we got Dan who finished uh, finishing the rear of the Aston. So a cracking race there, um, cracking two races. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you again uh, next Thursday where um, they go to Japan for again another new race um, for the uh, championship. Off to um, Fuji, Mount Fuji. So look forward to seeing you uh, next Thursday. Thank you very much for watching.